Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing my views on this giant box of 60 gouache paints by Arteza. A few months back, Arteza sent me their 36 watercolor pan set for review. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll put the link in the description below. This time, they sent out this big box of 60 tubes of gouache. If you already follow me on Instagram, you would know that I am a huge fan of their gouache paints. I already have their 24 tube set and I always wanted to try the shades that they offer in this one. If you are not familiar with this brand, Ateza is an amazing group of creative people who came up with this awesome brand. Ateza provides high quality products at a very affordable price. For example, this set of 60 12ml tubes costs around $50 or less which means each tube costs around 83 cents which is pretty cheap as compared to other brands like Winsor & Newton which costs much higher. There may be a difference between the quality of the two brands but honestly speaking I have always enjoyed Arteza wash more than Winsor & Newton because it gives me the freedom to explore more and the color choices are so great. Apart from that, the quality of these paints is so good, they are so creamy and highly pigmented. On the box, you can see the symbols for light fastness, transparency levels and pigments which gives you an idea about the properties of these shades. This box contains 10 trays of 6 tubes each. I really love the packaging and the way they package all of their products. Now believe me, 60 shades are a lot. You don't need 60 shades for creating art honestly but in my experience I find it very difficult when it comes to color mixing and gouache as compared to watercolors so if you are just like me and don't want to spend a lot of time in mixing gouache paints you can always try out multi shade set like this one and they also have a 24 color set and a 12 tube set of metallic gouache if you want to try them out I'll be putting the links to each of these sets in below in the description if you want to just check out also just wanted to mention that this 60 tube set also includes the 12 metallic shades so just in case if you're wondering what 60 colors are so that includes 12 metallic shades 24 shades from the basic set and the rest extra shades which i'll be showing in another video as of now arteza does not offer any open stock tubes but maybe in future they will i hope they do that soon i thought of including the swatching of these shades in this video but that would have been a very long video so i decided to share the swatching video separately which i'll be sharing soon stay tuned one thing i also wanted to point out is that the colors that you see on the labels of the tubes do not match the actual shades so it's always a good idea to swatch these paints before using them. As you can see the saffron orange on the label is very different from the actual paint inside. This is not a problem of Arteza particularly. It can be the case with any brand or any product because the labels are printed by some other vendor so there can be a mismatch of colors. Also you can see these tubes have their properties clearly shown on their labels like light fastness, pigment and the transparency level. So now it's time to test out these paints. I thought of painting some California poppies using some orange and green shades. I'll be adding some white and a touch of black if required while I'm painting. For this painting I'm using Canson XL paper. The shades that I'm using are bumblebee yellow saffron orange, sage green and olive green. I started out with a light sketch and then started painting with a light orange which I made using the yellow, orange and a touch of white. As I'm painting, I cannot feel any streakiness or lumps which is very common among low quality and cheap gouache paints. I believe you can also see how smooth the paint looks on paper. This paint dries very quickly which is very common in gouache paints. Then I took some darker tone of the orange and painted the back petals to give it some dimension. 
The colors in this set are really very beautiful and I'm so excited to use these paints in future. After I painted the petals, I grabbed the green paint and started with the stem and the leaves. Then I'm adding a tiny bit of black to make some dark green for the darker areas. I really love the vibrancy and the matte finish of these colors. Gouache paints are known for their matte finish and Arteza does an amazing job at it. I've tried some cheaper gouache before and I must say I never enjoyed them due to the low pigmentation and streaky nature of those paints. The result that I get from Arteza gouache is no less than Winsor & Newton but of course as I said earlier their formula is not same and there may be something special in Winsor & Newton which makes them so expensive. But in my recommendation if you are just starting out with gouache or you are an illustrator or designer who scan their work I would say Arteza is a perfect choice for you. If you want to sell your original work made with gouache paints, then I would always recommend doing some research on the paints that you're using. Now I'm adding some details using the liner brush and just making some thin lines giving the flowers some more definition. And now I think I'm done with this piece. After completing this piece, I thought of using the metallic paints and I just wanted to do some doodles with the metallic shades. Um, here I'm using bubblegum pink, pearl blue and gold and let's see how they look. I initially did not have any plan of adding this part in the video but I thought of just showing you the results. So I just painted a random rose arrangement with these three colors and to be frank these metallic paints are not very shiny as expected. They have a little sheen to them as if you can see in the screen but they are not super shiny as I was expecting initially. In my opinion, these paints can be an amazing choice for crafts or making handmade greetings, gifts, name tags, etc. But I'm afraid if you are thinking of using them as part of your digital illustrations, I don't think a scanner can even show the sheen of these paints. 
Rather, my experience is that the scanners do not take the metallic paints correctly. Just sharing my experience, but if you know that we can scan metallic colors, do let me know in the comments. The metallic paints are really nice to work with. There is no lumpiness, no streakiness. These paints are really smooth to work with. I really love the shades. So my final thoughts about this 60 tube set of gouache paints by Arteza is that this is an amazing set for illustrators or artists who are looking for a great range of colors and want to save some time color mixing but it can be intimidating for absolute beginners with so many color choices. In that case you can always buy their 24 color set instead of this one. I have shared all the links in the description if you would like to buy these paints I will be coming up with more reviews and tutorials. Please do subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be posting the swatching video of this set soon. Stay tuned. Till then, bye and take care.